Let's take a simple case study to understand continuous compounding. Mr. X gave a loan to Mr. Y amounting to rupees 1 lakh 100,000 with a continuous compounding interest rate per annum of 12 percentage for 3 months. What is the maturity value? So what is the loan amount here? 100,000. But it is continuous compounding interest rate of 12 percentage and what is the total duration? 3 months. How will you find the maturity value? We know the formula A multiplied by E power RT and P is the amount that is given as a loan and E power R, R stands for the rate of interest which is 12 percentage and T stands for time period which is 3 months. Generally T is 1 year. So if you want to convert that into months, you have to make it as 3 by 12. Okay. So look at here. A is equal to 100,000 multiplied by E power R that is 12 percent which is written as 0.12 into 3 by 12. Okay, so this basically gives e power 0 3. That's what you see here 100,000 into e power 0 3. So now what we have to do? We have to refer exponential table to get the value of this e power 0 3. Let me show you the table. Look at here. You have to find out the value of e power 0 3, right? Okay, so at 0 0.03, you have to look at e power x that is positive x it can also be e power negative x okay so here we are focusing on e power x so across 0 0.03 e power x what is the value you are getting you are getting 1.03045 so let's capture that let me bring that over here so it is a is equal to 100,000 into 1.03045 and this is the value what is this 1.03045 it is e power 0 0.03 and you get 100,000 or say 1,3045 okay 103,045 and this is the maturity value when continuous compounding is done at the rate of 12 percentage for a period of 3 months.